I like that. She loves like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette shows like that, right? Yeah, horrible shows. Do you watch that show, Miss? No. My favorite thing with The Bachelor, I watch the show with her, not because I'm like, oh, I wonder who's going to win this season. I watch because after I see these maniacs, I look at her and I'm like, we're going to be fine. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we're okay. These people are crazy. My favorite thing, if you don't watch the show, at the end of the show, he kicks one of them off. They're like, they're at a party, they're all in gowns, ready to have fun. He walks in, he's like, you beat it. They're like, what? <laughs> they put him in a limo and send him right to the airport immediately. They're like, where's my luggage? He's like, well, mail to you, scram. He doesn't want you. My favorite part is that final interview, because it's kind of depressing, but it's also kind of funny. Uh, they're looking to the camera, they're just like, what's wrong with me? Will I ever find love? I'm like, you're 23, relax, first of all. She keeps going, she's like, what did I do wrong? Why doesn't he love me? And that's what we see, it's kind of depressing, but it's kind of funny to look at it this way. She's just staring at this big hairy camera guy, looking back there with the camera in her face, like... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the show, you're crazy. I mean, it's, it's you're single, you want to do something for a few minutes? No? Okay. Step on it. It's got the most awkward car ever. Yeah. She's a cat person. We got two cats, guys. She's had it for like 10 years. I've only known it for like five. So I figured they're like halfway done at this point. That's the way I look at it. I'm a dog person. These things are weird. They're cats are really, any cat people here? Yeah? Oh man, they're fucking weird, man. They're, and here's how crazy cat people are. A few months ago we had Valentine's Day, right? Um, she comes back, she always likes getting me sweet cards, which is which is adorable. And um, so she goes, here's your card, blah blah blah, we chat, and then she goes, Oh, I saw a, I saw a cat section at Dwayne Reed of cards. I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, well, they had a whole session, they had a couple different types of cards for cats. I was like, four cats? She goes, yeah, one of them was uh, from you to cat. <laughs> Another one was from cat to you. <laughs> then she goes, swear to God, she goes, oh, and then they had one called um, from cat to cat. <laughs> Couple things like this. If you buy that car, first of all, you can never go back to that Dwayne Reed ever again. Because they're gonna think you're a Looney Tune if you just walk. I'm gonna take this one. If you go and get that car, there should be a guy with a taser and a straitjacket. He doesn't want to. No, this is good. Just to get you and drag you away. Because you lost your mind. You buy the two cat from cat car. So we got two horrible cats. They, they're different. They're you know brother and sister. They hate each other's guts. They've been around for ten years. They don't like each other at all. It's Rainy and Henry, that's the name. So she started, this is when my wife, my wife started losing her mind. She goes, well, I thought about getting the car, but would Rainy give it to Henry? I don't think so. Maybe Henry would give it to Rainy. I'm like, oh my God, if you want to start really thinking this, just kill yourself right there because you've lost your mind. Like that, they come in, Mr. McGinnis, your wife's dead in the doing room. Oh my God, what happened? Well, she's got the two cat front cat car. Oh, I understand, that's fine. She's at the walking dead, she turned. We gotta put her down. Cut the head off, she's no good anymore. <laughs> Brain is bush. <laughs> he wants a baby. I've only married two years, so it's uh, I'm only 34. I know I, know I, know I look like 50, but I'm only 34. <laughs> Shut up. She's uh, she's 31. We got time, right? She wants a baby though. She's like the cats are good for good good training. I'm like these cats, if I left my baby for 14 days and come back and the cat, my baby's still there, fine. The cat doesn't give a shit if we go away for a week. The baby's gonna care, I think. So it's not very good training. <laughs> Her doctor the other day told her, uh, there's some side effects to being on birth control for a while. He's like, you can get like aches and pains, you get like tummy aches and arthritis. I'm like, a good side effect of birth control is no baby though, so uh, <laughs> enjoy that constipation thing for a few months longer. I got gross, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's a good girl, but I She's from a very small town in North Carolina. She's a southern girl. And she, uh, she's already proud of herself. She moved to New York City a while ago to be a singer. She's a great singer. Uh, some of you guys know it's tough to make in New York, right? It's expensive, everything it smells a little bit. But uh, she's like, you know what? I, I'm proud of myself. I moved to New York City with $200 and no job, and now look at me. But yeah, now you got $300 and six jobs, so. <laughs> Living the dream! Summertime in New York City, you got every restaurant wants you to sit outside, right? Every place like, hey, you want to sit outside in our cafe? I'm like, I just bought a bag of chips, Walgreens, relax. <laughs> It's a, cafe, it's a Fulton check, can we be honest? You know? Every store wants you to sit outside. Table for two, please. Yes, you can sit inside in this uh, nice, clean, air-conditioned booth. Or, uh, oh, next to this gentleman peeing on a dog, huh? What do you say? 
<laughs> the table down there next to the nine foot pile of garbage just opened up. If you're interested. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside, is that cool? It's a seven hour wait. That's fine, I'm not too hungry. <laughs> Put me on that list. <laughs> you can this yell shit out in New York City, right? I was sitting on a street corner, running across the street, there's a girl next to me. This buggy guy's walking past us doing his thing like this, right? He looks at her and he goes, Hey, yo, baby, you married? I just kept walking. That was it. <laughs> Didn't wait for a response. He just. <laughs> What could she have said in that situation? Like, no, mother said you would come for me one day. <laughs> it's so hard to eat healthy in New York City, right, mac and cheese? It's hard to... <laughs> for every salad place that opens up, 19 cupcakes start surrounded and like, Get them now! And just like attack them, you know? I went to the cupcake place the other day, one of these ones with those $7 cupcakes. And uh, it said cannoli cupcake. My wife loves cannoli. I'm like, oh, what are the cannoli cupcakes, sir? I'm like, is he icing the cannoli filling? That would be awesome. Do you inject the cannoli filling right into the cupcake? He goes, let me show you. We got, uh, we got a cupcake here. And uh, we put a uh, cannoli on it. <laughs> cannoli cupcake. <laughs> what? How do you? Probably seven dollars. No, I want, I want three. Just uh, so. <laughs> How did it even happen? Like two guys like bounce, bump into each other. One's holding a box of cupcakes. One's holding a box of cannolis. They go boom. And they go Eureka! We found something great. Cannoli cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have one quick thing. I had a lady today. Here's what happened. Here's a quick joke. She uh, I'm at the farmers market. Beautiful, lovely place on a Saturday morning. It's a huge table of strawberries, right? And my wife's there picking up strawberries, I'm behind her. There's a lady who's getting all flustered. She's like <laughs> pretending we're in her way and everything. She's trying to reach around my wife. There's like a whole table song. Like, What's wrong with this lady, right? She bumps into her, she goes, excuse me. <laughs> my wife looks at me, I kind of chuckle right to the lady's face, of course, as you do. And uh, the lady, like, she grabs a box of strawberries, and then she drops her face all over the floor. I laugh even louder, right? Her face, obviously, right? She picks everything up, she stumbles away, and I go, bye. And she turns around, she says to me, you big fat fuck, and walks away. I was like, oh my god, that was an amazing New York moment right there. So I turned around and said, hey, miss, you apologize to my wife right now, okay? That was for me, I was right there.